what up guys and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you're yeah, welcome you're welcome you are welcome in today's video i'm going to show you the easiest way the simplest way and the fastest way to go about cutting a six pieces blouse like you guys have been requesting this video for close to one year now and i've just been like mm, i'm not really sure i want to do it but right now i am so sure and in this video i showed a very detailed process on how to go about manipulating your bodies and cutting the six pieces blouse and sewing the six pieces blouse as well it's a quick and easy one i know you will love it so before we go into the tutorial make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed anywhere in this video you found this content helpful please give this video a thumbs up and let's just go into the tutorial okay let us go <music> So we are going to start the cutting by drafting the pattern for the blouse so i'm going to extend my tape by five inches and i'm going to mark my half blouse point at 16 inches and i'm going to do this across the entire width of the fabric and i'm going to connect my markings with a straight line then from the center of my fabric, I'm going to go ahead and mark 4 inches. This is my dart point, my nipple point, that is the distance between my nipple. So you mark yours depending on what your measurement is. And I'm going to connect my markings with a straight line. Then I'm going to extend my tape by 5 inches again. And I'm going to mark 8 inches for my bust point. That's you guys know like standard 8 inches we take for our bust point. And I'm going to connect my markings with a straight line. My bust point is, my nipple point is also at 8 inches. So I'm very lucky. I'm just going to draw one line. Then I'm going to go back in and mark 13.5 inches for my under bust point. Now if your nipple point is not 8 inches like mine, you have to draw like the fourth line so you have to draw like the bust line line and you have to draw like your nipple line line okay now from the under bust i'm going to mark one inch on both sides and i'm going to do this all the way down to the pattern paper now the length for this pattern paper is 20 inches plus the extra one five inches that we normally extend our tape forward that will make this blouse the length of this blouse 25 inches okay so i just wanted to know have a, the idea what we are working with so after marking one inches from the under bust downwards on both sides i connected my markings with a straight line okay now from the under bust i'm going to connect my markings like so what I'm just trying to do here is I'm trying to carve in a bust here. So I'm going to connect my markings like so. And from the top, I'm going to mark half an inch on both sides. And I'm going to connect my markings like so. So from the center of the pattern paper, I'm going to mark my normal measurement, okay? I'm just going to mark my normal measurement at the bust, my under bust, and my waistline, and also the hem. Then I'm going to go back in and take the measurement of the that that we are going to cut out. So that is around 2 inches, and I'm going to add like 1.5 inches, both for my sewing allowance and everything. So I just added extra 3.5 inches to the pattern. To take care of sewing allowance and that excess we are going to cut out and i'm going to connect my markings with a line then from center of the pattern paper i'm going to mark 8.5 inches for my shoulder point i'll extend my tape by five inches and make i mark 8.5 inches as well for my armhole point you know normally we mark eight inches but because this is like an off shoulder and these tend to move here and there I marked 8.5 inches and I carved in my armhole curve okay you understand so after carving in my armhole curve we already have like the front part of this pattern ready already what we just did here was we just drafted an off shoulder bustier pattern we are good so 
I used my scissors, my paper scissors, and I just cut through the pattern. I paid attention to the points where we want, like to the points where we have like the bustier. So we make sure everything is well angled and we don't have like funny looking pattern. You guys can see how I'm turning at the points we need to curve, okay? So after cutting the front part, this is what we have here. Is this simple, guys? I'm just going to go back in and tag what each line represents. This is the front part. It's so easy to cut. Now we're going to go over to cut the back part, and I first of all marked 1.5 inch for my zip allowance. This is the back, guys. We are not going to disappear into the blouse. <laughs> we need the zip opening. So I connected my markings with a straight line. <laughs> Then I extended my tape by 5 inches. I extended my tape by 5 inches and I marked 8 inches, that which is like the normal standard, you know, bust line we mark. And I did this across the entire width of the pattern paper and I connected my markings with a straight line. Then I went back in and marked 13.5 inches for my under bust point, just like we did for the front part and i connected my markings with a straight line now i know some of you will be like oh why don't you just draw the straight line you know and come and tell us what it means you guys know that there are some beginners that are watching this and they'll be a little confused so that's why i'm going through you know the whole process step by step so i went back in and i marked 16 inches as well for my half blouse point some people they have blouse is 17 inches so i just marked mine as 16 inches and I connected my markings with a straight line, okay? Then I tagged what each line represents. Now, I marked 4 inches from the zip allowance point. I marked 4 inches across the entire length of the fabric. And this is, this is like the standard 4 inches we take for our dart. From the under bust point, I marked half an inch on both sides and I marked it upwards. You know, for the front bodies, we marked one inch on both sides downwards. For the back bodies, we are marking half an inch on both sides from the under bust upwards. Okay? Now, after marking half an inch on both sides, I'm going to go to the hem and mark one point. You know, like our measuring tape we have like different like one one points that make up like an inch one one marks that make up an inch so i just went and marked one mark then i connected my markings with a straight line it was straight till i got to the so from the top to the under boss straight line from the under boss to the hem is a rather you know slanted tapered line because around the hem we're not taking out a lot of excess okay so i'm going to go back um, up close so you see what I mean so this is what we have here okay this is what we have here for the back you can see how tapered and angled the down part looks like so after marking I'm going to go back in and mark my normal you know bust point waist point under bust point and waist point Then you know that 3.5 inches, you know, sewing allowance we added to the front, both for sewing and the, that excess, you know, I'm going to add it also to for the back. And I'm going to connect my markings with a straight line. So normally I mark my normal measurement first so that I don't go ahead to confuse you guys. I mark my normal measurement, then I go ahead to add the allowance and I just join the line for the allowance and cut the allowance through, okay? So I've joined my measurement together from the center. I marked my shoulder point at 8.5 inches 
extended my tape and I marked my armhole point at 8.5 inches so I just went down the bust line by 0.5 inch and I'm going to carve in my armhole like so okay So the armhole you slowly build the curve when it's an off shoulder you so slowly build the curve in so this is what we have here so after all the marking and marking and marking ladies and gentlemen i just use my scissors and i cut through the pattern <laughs> If you are watching if you are watching up to this point or if you've watched up to this point i don't know any kind of english i'm speaking if you've watched up to this point and you're enjoying this video hit the like button like smash the like button let youtube know you are enjoying this video okay okay <laughs> see it's almost 12 at night guys i'm high on sleep so if you hear me say funny funny things just now i'm beginning to doze off <laughs> So this is what the back part looks like so after cutting through i went back to tag it individual line now to cut the back bodies for this six pieces blouse i have my fabric on a fold of two and this is the center back of the back bodies and i'm going to pin it to the fabric and from the hem i'm going to just mark three inches okay you guys should just pay attention here i'm going to mark three inches and i'm going to connect that three inches mark to the waistline this is the simplest way to carve in the six pieces into the pattern okay so this is what we have here very simple very simple you can see i just carved it to the waist point you guys will see why I really took the the tagging of each line. Why I took it very, very personal. So after um, connecting the markings to the waist point, I'm going to use my ruler and I'm going to cut through. Now when you are cutting, you want to make sure you get that angled point. Like where the flared met the waistline, you want to make sure it is precise. Okay? So after cutting, I went ahead to cut to notch the zip allowance so that we we'll know where we are sewing from where we are sewing to <laughs> so this is what we have here for the center of the back piece i'm going to go ahead to cut the sides for the back piece i'm going to lay it on the pattern like so on the fabric like so you guys have seen that the position of the pattern has shifted and i'm going to mark three inches on the left hand side i'm going to mark three inches on the right hand side and I'm going to connect my markings, you know, to the waistline. So after connecting my markings, this is what we have here. I'm just going to go back in with my scissors and I'm going to cut the fabric. It is this simple, guys. It's this simple. It is this easy. Simple like bread and butter. <laughs> okay. So this is what we have here after cutting it through i'm going to go ahead to cut the front bodies now so for the front is as well on a fold of two it's also on a fold of two i'm going to lay my pattern on the fabric secure it like so this is the center front and i'm going to mark three inches forward and i'm going to connect the three inches mark to my waistline this is what we have here i always come in up close so that you guys will see what i'm doing and i'm just going to cut through So 
so after cutting through this is what the center front looks like I'm going to go ahead to cut the side so I'm going to lay the pattern on the fabric like so this fabric is on a fold of two and I'm going to mark three inches on the left hand side and I'm going to mark three inches on the right hand side and I'm going to connect the markings to the waistline so this is what we have here so after inserting the thread to the pattern I'm just going to use my scissors and I'm going to cut the fabric through okay So is this simple to you know cut a six pieces blouse it's just very very simple if you want to cut a blouse that has a neckline when you are drafting your pattern just draft the pattern with the neckline then you go ahead to go through this process i'm showing here okay because this is an off shoulder blouse so don't even get confused just cut like your normal pattern with the neckline then go ahead to insert the thread like so so this is what the the sides of the front bodies looks like next thing i went ahead to do was to cut the lining for both the back part and the front part now to sew this dress i attached gum stay and i top stitched the lining to the fabric and this is what we have here so to sew the back this is the back pieces these are the back pieces i'm going to join the center back on the zip allowance okay so i took it to my sewing machine and I joined it to the zip allowance so this is what we have here now to finish up the back part I'm going to join it like so on that side I'm going to join them on both axes okay so I took it back to my sewing machine and I joined it now that point where the flare started from you want to mark that point so that you know where to die when to you know turn your sewing to make sure the flared is well i don't know how to explain it to make sure the flared is precise okay you want to always note that diversion point and you know take the turn when you're sewing so after sewing you want to notch that flared point as well so that it is well relaxed if you don't notch it the flare will not come out well relaxed you notch it and you iron it so this is what we have here for the back part you can see it's already coming out so beautiful and gorgeous i'm going to go ahead to sew the front part so i've already attached gum stay and i've top stitched my lining to the front part you must put gum stay when you want to sew a six pieces blouse you have to your soft gum stay you're not going to put paper, paper stay so you're going to line the side you're going to lay the sides on the center like so i'm just going to sew along that axis so i took my took it to my sewing machine before i bite my tongue and i just joined it on both sides like i said you want to pay attention to each point and it curve so that everything comes out nice after sewing i notched it not notched i cut it a little bit so that it will come out relaxed you can see the bust here is formed already so this is what the front part looks like i'm going to lay the front part i'm going to lay it on the back part i'm going to make sure everything is well aligned i'm going to extend my tape by five inches and i'm going to mark my bust line i'm going to mark my under bust point and i'm going to just mark that point where the flare started from then from there i'm going to mark my waist measurement i'm going to mark my under bust measurement and i'm going to mark my bust measurement so i'm going to do this for both sides of the blouse so after um marking i'm going to connect my markings like so for both sides okay now for the hem the distance around the waist point is what we are going to mark in the hem you guys see what i just did there 
the distance at the waist point is what we are going to mark in the hem because we want everything to come out precise we don't just want to angle it and you know the dress is looking fitted but when it now gets to the flat side it's looking funny so you want to make sure everything is well aligned sewing has a lot to do with precision so you want to make sure like your measurement is equal around all sides so after marking i just went ahead and went back in with my ruler and i connected my markings with a line and i'm just going to join the blouse like so guys the blouse is already coming together okay if you've watched up to this point and you're enjoying this video please hit the like button hit the like button hit the subscribe button so that you let youtube know that you are enjoying this video and i i also want to always have you here okay so make sure you subscribe and come back every week for new videos okay thank you so i join both sides you also know that you want to take um cognizance of the points and you turn so that everything comes out well you don't want to sew the flare like it's a straight like it's a straight skirt and when you're done sewing the six pieces skirt is looking like a banana skirt if you understand what i mean <laughs> so this is what the blouse looks like i've joined both sides you can see how it looks it's already looking beautiful i want to go back in and touch the armhole just a little bit just a little bit so i measured my armhole my shoulder point and i have six by, around six by five inches which is fine for me but then i went ahead to measure my armhole and I didn't have up to like five inches and if i sew it like this my armhole will come out tight so i'm just going to go back in and you know just chip out a little bit you know i'm just going to curve carve out a little portion i'm going to take out so this is this is just a little portion i'm going to take out you can see it's so small i just wanted around five inches to be around my armhole and i just went in with my scissors and i cut through So this is what we have here now to you know the hem the shoulder line is open and is raw you're not going to leave it like that i'm going to use this facing i'm going to join i'm going to attach it to the shoulder line and i'm just going to sew and top stitch i don't know if you call it a shoulder line the overarm line <laughs> or the neckline to be i think it's the neckline we'll call it <laughs> so i attached the facing to the fabric that's to the blouse i top stitched the width of this um, facing is two inches okay so in case you want to make yours like so another thing you can do is you can use your lining to turn over the blouse but guys that's an uphill tax i will not advise you but if you want to do it good luck <laughs> okay so i'm going to top stitch it and i'm going to take it to my ironing table which is also my sewing table and i'm just going to give it a good press so that everything is well relaxed you want to make sure whether you are using a facing whether you are using your lining you want to make sure everything is well relaxed ladies and gentlemen you must top stitch you must iron okay they go hand in hand so after ironing the facing i'm going to go ahead to iron the hem i've already folded the hem on a one inch fold and as you can see this fold is not a straight fold it's a curvy curvy fold <laughs> so those places where it looks like the fold is not going to pull through all you just have to do is tuck it in a bit as you can see what i'm doing i tucked it in a bit held it down ironed it you know there all the, the folds are secured with office pins so you're just going to tuck it in a bit you can see that part what i just did is i folded it and i tucked it in okay so in case you are doing yours and you're wondering that ah this thing is not pulling through that's just a trick So I'm going to go back in with my ceiling gum, or my hemming gum, whatever you call it, and I'm just going to hem and seal down the back part of the facing. I'm not going to seal down the front part, and this is because the front part, because of the bust here, is not straight. So if I seal it down with this ceiling gum, it's going to puff, and the front is not going to look nice. 
okay so i'm just going to seal the back part for the front you just have to do needle work you have to do like your hemming now after sealing the the facing for the back part i'm going to come back and seal the hem of the blouse now if you don't really trust your your sealing gum you can go in and hem you can just hem it do your hemming stitches and it's also going to work for it okay so i'm going to come back to my sewing machine and i'm going to attach my zip to my blouse now if you are having issues with um, attaching a zip to a dress to a skirt whatever it is i have a detailed tutorial on this channel on how to you know attach a basic zip and also how to attach an invisible zip i'm going to leave the link to those tutorials in the description box i also have a detailed tutorial on how to sew a six pieces um skirt i'll leave it in the description box as well now to sew my sleeve the width the length of my sleeve is 3.5 inches the width is um 10.5 inches i'm going to just go in by half an inch on both sides and i'm going to draw a slanted line okay i'm just going to draw a slanted line because this is an off shoulder sleeve it's not exactly straight so that half an inch you take out on both sides is what will give it that slanted and well relaxed look so i just went in and i cut it through and because i have two hands okay i went in and i cut the second hand so this is what we have here for both the left hand and the right hand I've gone back in to attach the lining to the sleeve. I just stopped stitch the lining to the sleeve, turned it over, and I did a top stitch round again. It's that simple, okay? Then I took my sleeve to my sewing machine, I attached the sleeve to the blouse, attach the sleeve to the blouse and i used a piece of fabric you can use your bias for this and i used it to cover the armhole of the blouse you don't want to leave your armhole rough and clumsy and scattered no you want to cover up cover it up with either a bias or a piece of fabric the width of the fabric is around three quarter of an inch but you know that your bias can also work for this so after attaching this to the armhole i'm going to top stitch it so that it will be well relaxed and i'm going to use like my hemming stitch to hem this thing to the main piece of the fabric because you know after top stitching it's still going to be flying so guys this is what we have here this is the gown isn't this beautiful i love this gown guys i love it it's so beautiful it's so like it's gorgeous if you watched up to this point and you love what you see please give this video a thumbs up please subscribe it means a lot to me i'm trying to get to 50,000 subscribers so please support me and come back for more awesome videos i'll see you in my next bye